now let us understand how a questionnaire has to be framed okay so when i'm talking about the questionnaire remember this is the most common instrument which is being used in collecting data and statistics so when i'm talking about primary data collection this is a very common instrument which we use okay now what points i need to keep in mind when i'm preparing a questionnaire first thing it should not be long if it goes into five pages obviously people will not be interested to respond to you okay you need to ask limited precise and clear questions so always remember the questions you are asking should not be like a theory question wherein it is going for two three sentences it should be precise clear questions which you need to ask question should move from simple to complex so generally you would have seen the questionnaire if you would have answered any kind of data survey that it starts with your name age marital status maybe and then it moves on to the complex question so it should always be from simple to complex you shouldn't use double negatives so it the question shouldn't have like wouldn't you and don't you both the times two negatives coming together it shouldn't happen in that manner okay your question should have at least no negatives if possible but then if not then just one negative okay it should not indicate alternatives to answers if that is the scenario then it would result in a personal bias so it shouldn't say like you know what is your opinion on let's say climate change and then you give the alternatives in such a manner that if the respondent has a different answer he still forced to choose that particular alternative now we generally in questionnaire form either a close ended question or a open ended question so close ended questions remember are very easy to use and score them scoring them is quite easy and they are code for analysis what does it mean see when i'm preparing close ended questions there is no personal bias coming into that very easy for a respondent to score and it can be used for analysis on a very easy manner how do i structure the close ended questions it would be either a multiple choice question or a simple alternative question so are you a graduate yes or no would be a simple alternative question okay in multiple choice questions just like we have this kbc format where we have four options we can have those multiple choices being listed out there what about open ended questions see these would ask the views of the respondent related to specific issues so like example i want to know the views on climate change of the respondent then i would ask an open ended question i cannot use a close ended question so depending on what is the target which you are trying to achieve what is the data you are trying to collect you can either formulate a close ended question or maybe a open ended question 